friends friends good day today let us talk about the short story written by uh, leo tolstoy the name of this short story is god sees the truth but waits it is written by leo tolstoy in 1872 and uh, the story a parable about forgiveness explores religious and spiritual theme tells of a man who sent to prison in siberia for murder he did not commit it the story has been adopted for various media including films radio programs so uh, set in tolstoy's contemporary russia the story is narrated in a third person in a simple straightforward style the main character is ivan dmitrich aksinov a successful merchant from the town of vladimir aksinov is a carefree man who led a somewhat wild youth before setting down and starting a family One summer as Aksinov prepares to leave town on business his wife approaches him and begs him to delay his departure she recounts an ominous dream in which she saw Aksinov return from his journey and take while he take off his cap only to reveal that his hair went gray So Aksinov casually dismisses his wife's uh, concern and sets out. During his journey, Aksinov meets another merchant, an acquaintance of his on the road. The two spend the night at the same inn. The next morning, Aksinov rises early, continues his journey without wa- uh, waking the other merchant. Soon, however, the police stop and questions him, revealing that the merchant with whom Aksinov had stayed the night before was murdered. While searching through Aksinov's baggage, the police find a bloody knife and conclude that Aksinov murdered the merchant and stole his money. Aksinov insists. that he is innocent and that the wife is at the knife is not his but the police did not believe him they arrest aksinov and take him to a nearby town where he is imprisoned aksinov is charged with murdering the merchant and robbing him of 20000 ruble rubles His wife visits him, bringing their children with her. She is overcome when she sees her husband, asking him what to do and reminding him that she warned him not to leave town when he did. She then asks if Aksinov really committed the murder. Aksinov is horrified that even his wife suspects him. After his family leaves he determined that only God knows the truth and that he must turn to God for mercy Aksinov is convicted flogged and sentenced to hard labor in Siberia where he spent 26 years of his precious life as a convict during this time he acquire a reputation for piety and meekness The other inmates nickname him Grandfather and the Saint. One day, a new prisoner named Makhar Semenich turns up at the prison camp. Aksinov suspect that Makhar is the man who really murdered the merchant. He experiences a moral crisis, longing for vengeance against the person who caused all his suffering. The conflicted action of soon happens upon Makhar digging a tunnel out of the prison. Makhar tells Aksinov of his plan to escape and promises to get Aksinov out too if he cooperates, but he threatens to kill Aksinov if he reports the tunnel. 
The next day, the authorities discover the tunnel and interrogate all the prisoners. When they ask Aksinov if he knows who is responsible, he considers betraying Makhar and letting him pay for ruining his life. However, he decides to keep silent and respond that it is not God's will for him to speak. Makhar, deeply moved, approaches Aksinov that night and begs for his forgiveness, confessing that it, it was he who murdered the merchant 26 years before. He promises to tell the truth to the authorities so that Aksinov can go home. Aksinov is reluctant to forgive Makhar, saying that he no longer has a home to go back to. Makhar breaks down in tears, still begging for forgiveness, and Aksinov weeps with him. Finally, Aksinov tells Makhar that God will forgive him. He himself identifies with Makhar as a sinner. At this moment, Aksinov is released from all desire except the desire to die. Though Makhar confesses to the authorities, Aksinov is dead by the time the order for the, his reliefs arrive. So this is the story of that unfortunate man, Aksinov, who had, who was sentenced innocently in the prison. So the character involved in this uh, novel is, uh, not sorry novel, but short story is Ivan Dmitri Aksinov. The protagonist of the story, Ivan Dmitri Aksinov, begins the story as a handsome, curly-headed fellow, full of fun and very fond of singing. Despite being prone to excessive drinking in his youth, Aksinov settles down when he marries. His neighbor, when questioned about his character, insists that he was a good man. Nonetheless, Aksinov remains a common sinner. His business pursuit established him as basically materialistic individual. He can be considered or dismissive of his family and his spiritual qualities are underdeveloped. After he is convicted of the murder, he did not commit uh, Aksinov embrace a new spiritual perspective, recognizing God as the sole source of truth and mercy. A physical transformation mirrored this shift in uh, Aksinov's perspective. In prison, Aksinov here turns white, he grows a long beard, and he develops a stoop. Aksinov behavior is also transformed. The formerly carefree Aksinov, who was playing the guitar when the police came to arrest him, and who began the story uh, full of fun, now speak little and never laughs. His defining quality becomes his meekness and his fellow prisoner call him Godfather. And uh, so the theme of this short story is forgiveness. This story is first and foremost a parable about forgiveness. Indeed, Aksinov inability to forgive Makhar forms the central conflict of a story, a conflict that is resolved when Aksinov realizes that only God can forgive. The centrality of the theme of forgiveness emerged clearly in Aksinov's interaction with Makhar. When Aksinov begins to suspect that Makhar was the person who committed the murder for which he was convicted, Anger and resentment consumes him. As he thinks of all the suffering Makhar has caused him, the pious Aksinov longs for vengeance, even if he himself would perish for it. So 
When the authorities discover Maher's attempt to escape the prison by digging a tunnel, Aksinov seriously considered reporting him. Question about the tunnel, Aksinov thinks, let Maher pay for what I have suffered. Despite this, he does not report Maher. However, though Aksinov may pity Maher, he is resistant to forgive him. Even when Maher begs for his forgiveness, forgiveness and offers to confess his own guilt to the authorities. At last, however, Aksinov proclaims, God will forgive you. And with this realization that God alone can offer true forgiveness, Aksinov is unburdened for his anger and finally find peace. So ladies and gentlemen, God sees the truth but waits. This is the very beautiful short story written by Leo Tolstoy, full of lesson, full of uh, 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 contemplation. So I think you will enjoy this uh, short story when you read it. Thank you.